listen let your heart keep seeking listen to his constant speaking listen to the spirit calling you listen to his inspiration listen to his invitation listen to the spirit calling you all the earth shall bow down before you o lord and shall sing to you shall sing to your name o most high in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 father we praise you father we praise jesus, you jesus we praise you jesus we praise holy you. spirit god we praise you holy spirit god we praise hallelujah. you hallelujah 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 by the children of god in jesus christ god I chosen the people of Israel and telling them remember you are my people I am your god he has brought them out from Egypt and he made them to reach the promised land so lot of good things he has done in their lives he loved them he cared them and he fulfilled their needs whenever they need something he provide so they were enjoying the presence of god they were enjoying his presence but on their journey towards promised land they turned against god and against the servant of god and there are some people among this trial they went after the god and goddesses of the worldly things so when they went like that from his presence god felt very sad and he, he felt crying and said my children come back to me I am waiting for you return to me don't believe the world world will attack you and cheat you you will become zero yes my my dear beloved brothers and sisters so god is mighty god is waiting for his children who lost who went away with him who are going after the world and worldly things so god is reminding us once again remember my child you are enjoying in the world you are going after the world and worldly things so it's not good for you know that i am your god come back to me once again i will bless you as i blessed my child abraham I will bless you and your family. I will forgive all your sins. Come back, my brother, my sister. Before we participate in this holy mass, let's all close our eyes, keeping our both hands on our heart, and ask God. I have lost myself. I have lost your presence, Lord. Yes, prodigal son, return to his father. So today. 
Almas Birojo Mungkila Pergi Mila Anggi Mila Belesi I confess to Almighty God, dear brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Forever and ever. Amen. David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. First reading, a reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 17, verses from 32 and 33, 37 and 40 to 51. The Philistines gathered their armies for battle and encamped opposite to Israelites. And there came out the Philistine camp a champion named Goliath, who challenged the Israelites to choose a man to fight him. All the Israelites, when they saw Goliath, fled from him and were very much afraid. David said to Saul, let no one's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are just a boy, and you have been a warrior from his youth. David said, The Lord who saved me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will save me from the hand of this Philistine. So Saul said to David, Go, may the Lord be with you. Then he took the staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in his shepherd's bag in a pouch. A sling was in his hand, and he drew near to Philistine. The Philistine came on and drew near to David with a shield bearer in front of him. When Philistine looked and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, a ruddy and handsome in appearance. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with a stick? And the Philistine cursed David by his God. The Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and to the wild animals of the field. David said to the Philistine, you come to me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This very day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head, and I will give your body of Philistine's army this very day to the birds of the air and to the wild animals of the air so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly may know that the Lord does not save by sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. When the Philistines draw nearer to meet David, 
David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet the Philistines. David took up his hand in his bag and took out a stone, sling it, slung it, and struck the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell face down on the ground. So David prevailed over the Philistines with a sling and a stone, striking down the Philistine and killing him. There was no sword in David's hand. Then David ran and, st and stood over the Philistine. He grabbed the Philistine's sword and drew it out of his shirt and killed him. Then he cut off his hand with it. Then David, when Philistines saw that this champion was dead, they flew. word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will come. Your response shall be, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Your response, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My rock and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge. Who subdues the people under me? Your response, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. I sing a new song to the Lord, O oh God. Upon a ten string harp I will play to you. The one who gives victory to king, who rescues his servants, David. Your response, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom and healed all who were sick. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. With your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to Saint Mark, chapter three, verses from one to six. Again, Jesus entered the synagogue. A man who had a paralyzed hand was there, and some people watched Jesus. Would he heal the man on the Sabbath? If he did, they could accuse him. Jesus said to the man with paralyzed hand, Stand here in the center. Then he asked them, What does the law allow us to do on the Sabbath? To do good or to do harm? To save life or to kill? But they were silent. Then Jesus looked around at them with anger and deep sadness because they had closed their minds. And he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was healed. As soon as the Pharisees left, they met with arrows supported, looking for a way to destroy Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today, you see the first reading. The Goliath, a Philistine, challenging. the people of Israel, telling them, is there, is there anybody who can fight with me and defeat me? Come on, I will challenge you. Let's see who is strong. If you defeat me, it is understood your God is great. Or if I defeat you, my God is great. In a such a way, 
with a loud voice he was challenging his fire and all the judges sons the six of them were there and all other people are there all are just watching nobody wants to go nobody wants to fight because such a mighty person is such a mighty person is such a height and weight you cannot look at the person also so such a great personality he has so even by looking at him people are frightened so finally the david came to know that he is challenging his people then he came forward and he said to his brothers let me go and fight with this fellow let me kill this man today how dare he is telling that i will kill you if i kill you my my god is great and if you kill me your god is great come on he is challenging how dare he is to challenge us we are not a simple people so let me go and fight my brothers he said then they they trying to stop him but even though so he said no let me go on my brothers and sisters he said we need to understand though there are many people many seniors many old people are there young people are there younger than elder than david are there all the children are there all the intelligent people are there wisdom people are there all the stronger people are there but nobody came forward to kill goliath nobody took initiative nobody took a challenge to kill goliath they wanted to go forward but they could not they could not another thing we have seen in the person oh such a mighty one how how can we go and touch him we should be touch enough if that fellow keep one hand enough our life will be over so these are the thoughts of the people but here david he said you come i am you are coming with all the weapons you are coming with all the weapons and you, you are coming and uh, challenging us having all the weapons with me but uh, i am coming alone without having anything how i am coming you know i am coming in the name of in the mighty name of yahweh i am coming come i will give i will kill you and i will throw your flesh to the dogs so he went and he took five stones and he rolled and rolled and he just threw the stone and the goliath immediately fell down and died my brothers and sisters here we need to understand how god has given such a power to david David was anointed by God with that anointing David was with God David was having the relationship with God so the relationship so the connection with God made him to have defeat to defeat Goliath so the connection the relationship with God the intimacy with god gave him victory over his enemy my brothers and sisters today god is asking all of us to have the intimacy with him to have the relationship with him when you as a child of god when you have the relationship with your god when you have the closeness with your god then god will give you the strength god will give you the power god will give you his spirit god will give you his anointing through which 
you can defeat the enemy you can defeat the problems of the world you can defeat everything what is there in this world everything you can see even the whole world says it is very strong it is impossible but for you you say it is possible for me because my god is there with me because my god can help me he will make me for me it is possible my brother my sister so be sure there are some people do they say that i am a christian i am a child of god but they don't have the relationship with god they are having the intimacy with world they are having the relationship with the world so those people they cannot have the strength of god those people they don't have the blessings of god the power of god those people cannot overcome the temptations of the world they those people cannot uh, solve the problems some they will be in the problems some they will sit and cry ayo oh, my life is like that ayo oh, my life is like this are the problems i am having these are the problems i am having in my family there is no peace so they sit and cry but remember today god is telling you you are my child when you have the relationship with me when you have the new intimacy with me when you have the closeness with me i will bless you i will give you the strength through which you can defeat the enemy in your life you can defeat the, you can have the victory over your enemy my brother my sister remember this thing keep it in your mind and know the truth and return to god have the intimacy with god by david and you will you can defeat anything all your enemies all your problems you will be able to let us please let's all pray with me shall we pray blessed are you lord god of all creation Thanks to your goodness this bread we offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the bread of life blessed be god blessed be god blessed be god forever amen blessed are you lord god of all creation thanks to your goodness this wine we offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the cup of joy blessed be god blessed be god blessed be god forever amen pray will that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to god the almighty father sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for the good and good of all his holy church grant us the lord we pray that we may we may participate worthily in these mysteries for wherever the memorial of this sacrament is celebrated the work of our redemption is com- accomplished through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hands we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and ever to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for our for out of compassion for the way waywardness that is ours He humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the pa- by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominion and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of host heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest <coughs> blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in this passion. He took the bread giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, we profess your resurrection and confession of you. Therefore, as we celebrate the moment of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Tomabal, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have had any mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to coerce eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's all stand and say the beautiful prayer which our Master Jesus taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, yes. thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant our peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be preserved for eternal life. Amen.
वी हैव कम टू नो एंड टू बिलीव इन द लव दैट गॉड हैज फॉर अस लेट अस प्रे फॉर आर दिस विल लॉर्ड द स्पिरिट ऑफ योर लव एंड इन योर काइंडनेस मेक दोस यू हैव नरिशड बाय दिस वन ओनली ब्रेड वन इन माइंड एंड हार्ट थ्रू क्राइस्ट आवर लॉर्ड आमेन The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.